mean, I've been retired for about 11 years now. I've been working on Kill My Company, Killerway, for a long time. I want to eventually turn it into a foundation just to educate athletes about performance enhancing drugs. I loved football, like I wanted to do football. I didn't think about track. And I'm truly grateful because I was able to get the opportunity to be able to go play for the Chargers in 1999 and play with the late Junior Seon, play with Jim Harbaugh and Natron Means and Freddie Jones and Rodney Harrison. There were so many great athletes. It was short lived for me, but track and field happened by, by accident. It, it was a blessing in disguise for me. I love the game of football and I love track and field and I, and I always tell people I'm just a hybrid. You know, I have the best of both worlds. <laughs> Back in 2003, Balco hit, and a lot of the athletes were using performing enhancing drugs, and that was the, the biggest year of my entire career. I won two indoor titles, and, and I won a world indoor title. But then years later, obviously, I got my world title back because one of my teammates um, was, um, you know, he admitted to using performing enhancing drugs. I actually had one of my teammates that was banned for four years. He told me um, pretty much that night that he said, well, the next couple of days it's gonna come out that I'm gonna test positive. And I asked him, I said, why did you have to go down this road? And he says, I either go back to a nine to five or either I take advantage of winning the title, running fast and getting my bonus or either it's all gone. And he said he decided just to play Russian roulette and just to go with it. For me, it, it was very frustrating at the time because I looked at him as a brother and he just was like, I know it's not right, Ty, but at the same time, when you're backed against a wall and you may lose your shoe contract and you may be homeless and you may have to go back to a nine to five, which you don't want, which you're not gonna make a lot of money because you don't have that degree. And he's like, what do you do? So I've experienced that. I mean, um, personally, with just someone else going through it, my teammate going through it. I want Killer Roy to grow because when I lost those four gold medals in that world record because my teammates were doping and I didn't know about it, I mean, it was very hard for me because it was like a click of a button, they were gone, and then I had to wrap them up and I had to send them back. I want to educate people worldwide about this epidemic of just performing enhancing drugs. People always ask me, they say, well, Ty, do you think we're going to be able to stop it? No, we can't stop it. I mean, it's a cat and mouse chase, but I think education is the key, educating the younger athletes that, you know, you know, if you're gonna go down this road and use performing enhancing drugs, you're liable to lose your life and your, tier, your career could be tainted for the rest of your life. I know it's a very sensitive topic and I know a lot of people don't wanna hear about it, but for me, it's like I've seen a lot of athletes throughout the years that have tested positive, they have, they gain this fame, they gain this notoriety, they're on all these talk shows, and then, they, then all of a sudden they get caught and they say, yeah, I was doping for 10 years. And then you have the athlete that hasn't done anything like myself that lose four gold medals and my world record and nobody wants to talk about it. And I, and I did nothing wrong. I, it hurt, I cried. I, I love my teammates. I, I love USA Track and Field. I, I mean, I wanted to do my best for my country. And then all of a sudden I'm wrapping the medals up and I'm sending them back. So I wanna bring that awareness to every, you know, to every athlete, to every parent, every coach, teacher, whatever worldwide. You know, we have to get this message out and try to slow it down you know, a little bit. That's all we can do is just slow it down. We need to publicize those athletes that are doing great things and really lift them up because that's what it's all about. I think that we have a, a track and field, we have a dark cloud over our head and, and that's not what we're all about. There's more to us than just the, the steroids and the athletes getting banned and whatnot. My goal in life is to continue to help people because uh, that's why that's my passion and there's no I in team, there's no me in team, you know, it's, it's we and us. I want to be able to plant those seeds and, and just allow it, just water them and just hopefully one day they'll grow and blossom to be great things. <laughs>